Now our chat application is working, let's have a look at the code. So the, on both machines, or any machine, I'm using the second one just now, but you'll have to do this on both. If you have a look here, for example, set new line 2 to join name 2 has left the chat. Then add new line 2 to chat window 2 and broadcast update window 1 and wait. Now these three lines of code are repeated three times throughout the, pro throughout the program. Again, it happens here and it happens here. But the only thing that's different is the message that's being passed in. So what we're going to do is we're going to build a block that carries out these three instructions and allows us to pass in any message we want. So in order to do that, we need to go to variables and from down the bottom here you'll see make a block. And this block you can categorize it, so I shall categorize this as let's say a control block. And I'll call this update mess uh, update window width and click on OK. And what I'm going to do is add in an input. So I'll give this a name called message. And what I'm able to do is if I take any one of these lines of code, so this, this one here for example, I'm going to take that out and put that in here instead and put my broadcast get name 2 back. And instead of saying has left the chat, I'm going to just put in message like that. And I'm going to click on OK. Now what I can do is go to control and down the bottom now, I can see update window width. If I pull this in, update window width has left the chat. And in this case, and the, the this one here, again I'll just unclip all this. I'll take my join colon answer out and delete these three lines of code and use update window width. Broadcast next line two, and when I receive get name two, these three things here: the set new line and add new add new line two in broadcast. The same script. Get rid of these three things, put them away, and update window with. And that was has joined the chat. So what I've done is I've made a block. It takes in message, and then whatever you've typed in as a message is passed into the script. So the three set, the three sets of code we had before, we've now replaced with just one single block, which is a much more efficient way of dealing with uh, code like this, and a really good feature of build your own blocks.